Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to my second vlog. As you can see, I am still working on my uh, Halloween decorations. I brought a few things up this morning. It is Saturday and I'm just excited to start another week with you. I am hoping to do my best to cut cut it in half so there'll be no part one, no part two, no part three, just that's it. So um, anyway, I just thought I'd open with my little ghoulish friend here. I got him last year and he was only like $10 at Walmart, like $9.99 and I just loved him. And um, I had him as part of my outdoor decoration and every night when that it was windy, you would hear him going off with it, with the laugh. Come Halloween, the kids would walk by it, nothing. It's supposed to be triggered by movement, but you do have to press the button now. So. I guess that's what it's $9.99, so I'm not going to complain. But anyway, I got my Halloween wreath behind me. He'll be on the door soon, on the outside door. I always worry that someone's going to steal him because he's so cute. But um, anyway, so anyway, I really enjoyed uh, chatting with you all last week. So I hope that uh, if you caught my vlog, that um, you maybe have some suggestions for me. And uh, it's um, Saturday. I woke up this morning and decided I didn't want to go to work. I don't know why. I think I just sometimes... um. I think I just kind of get burnt out and I just need two days away from spreadsheets and everything else. So anyway, today I usually start with my isogenic smoothie. I just felt like I needed coffee today. So I've got my coffee. I am ready to go. I've already brought up two loads of uh, Halloween decorations from downstairs. Um, yeah, so anyway, I had my shower, put my makeup on, and I tried doing my eyebrows today again. I don't always do my eyebrows, so let me know what you think. Um, I ended up using this um, pencil by IT, it, the uh, brow pencil. And anyway, so it's got the, uh, the one to kind of tame them or spread them out. Sometimes I use this even if I don't put any of the pencil in just to kind of get any makeup or anything that might have got in there. And then um, it's got this, which you probably can't see, but it's got this little brush that's buildable. So it starts off really light, but you can build it up. So anyway, did my brows today. Don't always do them. They're very sparse. And I use the Naked 3 palette um, from Urban Decay. And it's just, uh, and I've seen some other people use this palette because they've got like light and dark colors. And I'm kind of on the uh, subtle side because I'm, you know, I'm just afraid to go bold. But anyway, it's just a really, really pretty palette. So I uh, did check my Wannable. So um, I did check out of, of the uh, Wannable, the clearance edit that I did last week. And I ended up keeping three things. So I think that was okay. I got 50% off. Um, so that was still, I thought that was just amazing. And it was nice that it was uh, fall items, too, because I was thinking, you know, up to 70% off clearance, it's going to be, you know, summer items. But anyway, I really enjoyed that one. And now my, the regular um, Wannable Edit is out, not the clearance, but the regular one. So that is actually out for delivery today. So it's probably going to be here shortly, and I can uh, try that on and get that uh, filmed. I like to do the clothing ones kind of filmed and uploaded within a day or two because if I when I need help making decisions it doesn't help me if my time is come and gone so I try to get those ones uploaded. I've got some uh, more QVC items coming today. I ordered some more um, Attitudes by Renee. She had like another long duster type dress and I really don't like the shark bite hems but this one did but I, I just thought it looked really cute because everything she wears looks cute and you know she's always doing the different models so you've got like plus size models and mini size models and it, it just always looks good on everyone. So it came with that duster dress that you can wear um, when it came with slacks underneath so you can wear it with the slacks or you can wear it with a dress. It also came with a, an infinity scarf and then I also bought like a coat dress um, that's uh, like a knee length but you can wear it open to wear as a duster or you can wear it as a dress and I like being able to choose how I want to wear things so those are out for delivery um, those are pajamas that I love um, so QVC was four percent cash back today and five a lot of five percent e evil pays on a lot of things so I was going to get um, another pair of that same one but then uh, velour one struck my eye from the same Carol, I forgot her name again, Carol Hawkman or something like that. Um, I'll leave it in my description below again. But anyway, she had some velour ones that were on five easy pays or evil pays as the case may be. 
and so I thought with the colder weather coming even though the ones I got now are just perfect and I love them love them love them um I just thought the velour going into winter might be a nice nice change so I'm going to be excited to get those but um anyway I am still going to probably work on some crisp Christmas decorations yeah not them but I will probably work on some more Halloween decorations this week and try to do a little more catching up on YouTube and I got that one that I'm looking forward to so anyway I hope everyone goes out has a great week and we will chat again tomorrow bye bye and happy Sunday everyone it's just a cold dreary day here it's about 10 o'clock in the morning I went to bed about five o'clock last night Actually, I came in to go to bed, saw the stuff that I had at the bottom of the base of my bed here on the footboard, and I said, uh, I'm not going to move it. So I grabbed my pillow, went to sleep on the couch for a few hours. It's uh, just about 10 o'clock now. It looks like sunset. It's um, There's no sun outside today. It's just a dark, dreary uh, rain off and on day. It just kind of feels damp, which brings me to my outfit of the day, which um, I think I'm going to try to post something and then kind of put it in there later but anyway this is what I got from um, the top is from my trend send box last month and I just love it at the inside it's like a really it's like fleece it's so soft it's so cozy um, the joggers that I got I actually returned the joggers that came came to wear with this from the, my um, trend send box it was the gray and I just don't think it let that light gray is flattering on me so I sent those ones back but I did get the same ones in black and I like it oh so much better and then I actually um at another time that when they had that sale I got uh the joggers that match this as well but then it was a little too matchy matchy but so I just got the black ones on today and I got those booty socks on from the muck locks with the faux sherpa lined or yeah faux sherpa lined I think that's what it was but any shearling faux shearling lined Oh my gosh, they are just so soft, cozy, warm, and toasty. This is what I'm going to live in on the weekends. I'm, you know, I, I, unless I'm going someplace, I'm just hanging around the house. It's either going to be those Carol Hockman or Hockman pajamas that I got from QVC or something like this. I'm just all into just being comfortable, soft, and cozy. Yeah, summer might be a little bit different, but right now that's what I'm looking for so to start my day I didn't uh, feel like a smoothie today I just felt like um yeah I just felt like I needed a boost so I've got my regular isogenics here in the French vanilla and then I've added my keto coffee mix from it works and the chocolate greens from it works and um, I got a vitamin in here that's supposed to be like hair and nails and things like that so I threw that in there some ice I even put a little bit of coffee creamer in today just kind of make it extra rich and creamy and that's my protein shake to today, this morning. Ah, it's so good. And this was filled to the brim. So this is uh, this is going to be good. This is going to fill me up till probably about 3 o'clock this afternoon. And um, hoping to... I was going to start working on the Halloween decorations, but I think I'm going to move over into that corner of the room and start working on my plan with me. Um did a lot on YouTube uh, last night watching videos and commenting so I really feel good when I get to comment on other people's videos and just I don't think I'm ever going to be caught up so if um you know you know that I subscribe to you you know that I am trying my best to watch your videos and comment and if you are commenting on my videos I try to do I watch uh, I comment on somebody from my videos and then I go and and do somebody that I'm subscribed to so I try to do one for one which maybe that's not the best way but but anyway that way I I just don't want to leave anybody out and I appreciate you so much and today I am wearing um, to go with this camo I got this uh, eye palette from Charlotte Tillsbury it's called green lights and it is just real pretty I don't think this is going to do it any justice but there's like a gold shade like a soft gold shade and then three different shades of green um, and they're just they're all a shimmer and I, I just love the shimmers I know some people say you know people shouldn't wear them but to me I, I think it reflects the light back so maybe it does camouflage the wrinkles hence camouflage camouflages wrinkles and um, the darker shade in here is what I actually use for the liner top and bottom and so I am going to get working um, I want to work on that wannable um, 
uh, video that I did last night and get that uploaded and I want to work on a plan with me and then I want to get back to commenting on YouTube so I'm probably not going to do any Halloween decorating today yeah I could get working on that though because I got my whip box I don't want to do in my Halloween costume and I did see some guesses already nobody guessed yet so maybe I should hold up that empty bag again anyway we'll chat again tomorrow have a go out have a great day hi everyone and welcome to Monday so anyway uh, I cannot believe how fast this day flew by. It was, uh, I, I just, I, I think I thought it was maybe 4.30 or so, and it was 5.30, and it was like, where did the day go? I, I just don't get it. But anyway, so I finished up what I was doing, went around, got everything locked up, made sure all the lights were up, and I was out of there by 6.30. So that was like a nice record for me. So I was pretty excited. And then I came home, and I had a surprise waiting for me in the garage. But not a nice surprise i had a snake in my garage scared the life out of me i screamed bloody blue murder nobody came to my rescue i had to deal with it all by myself so it was a huge snake so i got a rake and i got him outside all by myself got him in the grass so he was like he was big he was like this big and maybe like yeah maybe about that that thin around wow i was i was terrified i'll tell you but so i need to figure out how we got into the garage well you know there's all kinds of creeks and things but why would he want to come into my garage i don't know so i need to figure out what to put down to deter him so he doesn't make his way back in or have any friends come in yeah i yeah i don't like that that kind of freaked me out but anyway i came in and i had um that rotisserie chicken that i still had a little bit left on the bone so i boiled the chicken got all the uh the meat off the bone and then I threw in some frozen carrots I had a frozen celery onion and pepper mix so I threw that in there a little bit of sea salt I had some fresh garlic I threw that in there because I love garlic and some pepper and then I had some really like almost like a ramen noodle I forgot what the name of it is but it's wicked wicked thin like a rice noodle or something so I threw that in there and oh my gosh that really made a great soup and it's another cold rainy day here I think it was we probably made it up into the 50s today so it wasn't too bad but it just has that damp feeling so the soup just really hit the spot though one thing when you have soup I really mix miss having fresh bread fresh warm bread with nice butter on it that's the worst part but the soup was good so anyway I'm happy oh and I had a leftover hard-boiled egg in the uh, refrigerator too so I chopped that up and threw that in there it's kind of like you know when you're making a soup you might as if you cut leftovers throw them in there you know get rid of them and it makes it tasty so that was really exciting and what's even more exciting than that is this so anyway Alicia Martin she's uh one of the girls I subscribe to she is such an awesome awesome lady she is a school teacher in sunny California she's got the cutest daughter Cora she's in I bet Cora would come and get that snake for me her daughter loves like all kinds of animal type things so I bet they would come out and take care of it for me because my neighbors did not but anyway she's an awesome awesome lady and um, you know they love to go hiking and go to the beach and just have all kinds of adventures she's just a wonderful wonderful lady I'll leave her link below she does some great unboxings and she does some cooking channels and lifestyle and beauty and um, and I think you will just fall in love with her she is just so sweet but anyway she just hit 400 subscribers not too long ago she did a giveaway giveaway like this and she picked uh three lucky winners and i was one of them so tonight i get to open that up and share it with everyone so i'm wicked excited about that i'll leave alicia link below too so that you can check her out and also for the uh look of the day so to start off i'm wearing these earrings that i just got from wantable i am loving these and um i mean even talking on the phone and mask on mask off they just they stayed on it's it, they're just really nice of course i've got my touch tone by swarovski so i got a couple of chanel necklaces on i've got my three lunar rings here so i've got uh, the blush tone a gold tone and a silver tone and i of course i just always love my swarovski the sweater that i'm wearing was a 70 percent off special from ever eve every now and then they have these little flash sales on some weekends so this i think i got it at the end of july 
the beginning of August. It's an Allison Joy Selena sweater, and it was on sale for $19.99, and it's mine, and I love it. So it's a nice duster length. It's got some nice walking slits, no pockets, though. The pants that I'm wearing are from the uh, Women With Control, the Attitudes by Renee line from QVC, and I just, um, that's one of my favorite designers. So the pants that I'm wearing, these are black leggings, so you have like kind of faux suede black panels in them, and then some ponte, that heavy ponte uh, knit uh, in them, so they're just very, very comfortable. Wash and wear great. I think I probably got these from last, last winter, and yeah, I'm, I'm just loving them. They, they washer dryer you're ready to go the booties that i'm wearing are from vince camuto the ariana booties and i was able to pedal about five miles today with these on so they are just really really comfortable i also got those on qvc i usually try to scope out some of the things that i really like on there i try to wait to see if i could they get to the as is and returns and you still get the evil pays if you don't get them and you don't like the quality you can still return it but anyway, I have had very, very good luck with that. So anyway, I am going to say goodbye for now. And I'm going to open this box. And we will chat tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Tuesday. So another wicked, wicked fast day. I have no idea how time goes by so fast. But anyway, I left work about 7.30. So I got about 11 and a half hours in again today came home I had some of that leftover soup from yesterday so that was really really good and my coffee which I still I'm on my second cup since I've been home I actually already pieced together my plan with me um video I actually took me like over three days to get it filmed this time I have no idea why I'm so slow but anyway so this is what that spread looks like just a fun summer one and what I really like about this one is um, the picture that I decided to print from the internet right here. So it's this one at the bottom, looking out at the beach, through the uh, sea fence, and just looking out at the ocean. And it says, take a deep breath and let it go. And that is like just the perfect model. Like, you know, in this world, people have just lately, everybody's cranky and it can be frustrating or you get angry or sad or just overwhelmed. and that's like the best advice just kind of take a deep breath everyone and let it go simple 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 I am loving that so anyway yesterday I was lucky enough I want to give away from Alicia Martin and again she'll be linked below she is like just a super super lady I really have enjoyed uh, meeting her through YouTube and just the friendship and it's it's just such a great feeling to meet these friends that we're doing through YouTube. But anyway, she had a giveaway for getting 400 subs. So she gave away three big boxes and I was lucky enough to get one. And so I opened up that last night and it was like just so much fun, like pulling everything out. It was like Christmas here at Nancy's house. So I actually got that filmed last night. So I'm hoping to get that uploaded. Um, if not today, then maybe tomorrow, so that I can get that up and show everyone and share it with everyone. And and I hope you get to go and check out Alicia Martin. Let's help get her up to 500. That would be nice, won't it? It's it's really nice that we can help each other, help each other's channels grow like that. And it's it's just an, an awesome feeling, helping each other and getting to meet people from all over the country. And, uh, you know, we have Anne-Marie in England and... I've got Felicity in Australia, and it's just so, so fun getting to, to meet people all over the world. So it's really fun. It's an amazing journey for me. But uh, anyway, so anyway, I'm going to try to keep it nice and quick, quick and short tonight because I want to get on YouTube and do some work, and I need to upload some things. And I've been waiting to finish decorating my hallway so I can do my whiff box and some other things, but I think I'm just going to do it right here. I got some stuff behind me, so it'll kind of look festive. So maybe I'll do that tomorrow, but today, my outfit of the day. So I am wearing this dress that I got from Attitudes by Renee, my favorite designer on QVC. So um, it's a three-piece dress, so it comes with pants. It's like a shock bite dress, uh, like a long length, not quite a midi, but not quite a maxi either, someplace in the middle. And I'm not really a fan, fan of the shock bite dresses, but this just seems so subtle, and it just it just looks right. And it, it comes with the uh, matching infinity scarf, so 
I mean, you can wear this a million ways. I've just been cold lately, so I've just got it wrapped around my neck tight, just, uh, yeah, just to keep me warm. But, um, so you can wear the dress without the pants. You can wear the pants without the dress and just dress it. And I just like getting different things that Renee does like that so that you can kind of mix and match and get a couple of different looks from things. So anyway, this is, I think, the only one that was left in the size that I got. So I will be stocking QVC on the as is section to see if somebody returns another one so I can get another one. But if not, I'm happy with this one. I'm, I th I'm thinking I love it. It's that Como jersey, which is, well, you can't really see, right? It's real wicked, wicked stretchy. How's that? Wicked, wicked stretchy. So it's really comfortable. It's just soft and cozy and just a lot of fun to wear. I love um, her outfits. So I will either stand and take a picture or maybe just do a quick video and try to fast forward. I'll, I'll try to figure something out so I can show you what it looks like. But I want to thank everyone for joining me again. And we'll chat again tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday, hump day. So go out, have a fantastic day. Not necessarily humping, but have a nice day. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday night. So I have got the best coffee right here. Um, came home from work today and I had to fight the urge to go to Dunkin's or McDonald's to pick up a coffee because I knew I was going to be bad. So I came home and I finished my soup like a good girl. And then I made this coffee and it is so, so good. So it is the Gloria Jean's uh, French Vanilla K-Cups that I got for my last Kerrig order. Um, I've got some caramel macchiato creamer in here. It did have whipped cream in here for a while. And then some uh, caramel syrup on top. So it was so, so good. But anyway, I might have to go heat it up and put some more whipped cream on it. But I'll try to be good. So anyway, I hope everybody's Wednesday is going great. Um, halfway through the work week. And today just flew, flew by again. Pretty much had a short day. I only worked 10 and a half hours today. I feel like I have got all this energy. But it, it could be the coffee. But um, it was a nice rainy day, uh, very, very windy. So most of the uh, trees in front of our office building, most of those leaves uh, kind of flew off today. And when I got to work, um, it was a nice, beautiful, they were like all brilliant shades of like gold and yellows and the reds hadn't come out yet. And of course now they're not going to. But 10 minutes away where I am, everything looks how it looked before I left. So it beats me. But anyway, I changed a few of my decorations out just to kind of keep it interesting. When I came home and I was eating the rest of my soup, I pieced together my video from um, that I did the other night with Alicia Martin, uh, the, uh, the giveaway winnings. So I got that kind of exported to a file so that I can get it uploaded to um, YouTube a little bit faster. So I'm excited to do that and share that with everybody. And I hope that um, if you haven't checked out Alicia, I hope that you go and check her out. She is just a sweet, sweet lady. She, of course, she'll be linked in that video that I'm going to post later. She'll also be uh, in my description below here. You know, that was uh, her giveaways for getting to 400 subs. And to me, this is like the best part of, of doing the YouTube. And it's, it's just the the honesty and the openness and chatting with everybody and just having a group of supportive women that you know we don't put each other down we lift each other up we're supportive we help each other's channels grow and and that is just that's you know that's what friends do we help each other so uh, that is just the best part of YouTube for me is just doing that but today okay so we did that the outfit that I'm wearing this is actually from my last Wannable edit, the, uh, the the real one, not the clearance one. So I ended up keeping this sweater because I just love this. It's such a deep, deep purple sweater. It is so pretty in person. I pretty much wore, uh, styled it how I did during the try-on. I've got the uh, the cream-colored pants on, the uh, sleeveless turtleneck, and one thing I did change, so was I put on my Touchstone Crystal by Swarovski, this uh, purple crystal necklace, and it is just so pretty. And I think the color just really goes really, really nice with this. And these earrings that I'm wearing, they're like the blush ones that I have. These are from my last Touchstone Crystal purchase that I haven't done a video yet on. So shh, don't tell anybody because I'll show those later in an unboxing, even though it's done. And today I've got the uh, second, I got the two clearance edits. One was just the regular one and then once was the active clearance. So I've got that to do later, and I'm a little afraid 
of doing that one because, you know, it's the active one, so the exercise wear, and some things, you know, can be pretty kind of skimpy. Yeah, you know, if, you know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, so you may or may not see that video depending on how skimpy the things are. And when I put it on and if I happen to look down and catch myself in the mirror, I might have to go something like this and then back away from the mirror real quick because I don't want that mirror laughing at me again. That is not fun. Uh, you know, I want that mirror to be my friend. Yeah. So you may or may not see that one, but I am excited to try it on, especially if there are some, you know, some nice workable things that I can use to, to wear. And up to 70% off, you can't beat that, right? So even if I kept one thing, it's 40% off. And then, yeah, so um, I think it's going to be a good box. I'm, ex I'm excited. I'm excited. I don't know how you do that. I'm excited. But anyway, so um, anyway, so that's about it for today. And um, we will chat again tomorrow. So I hope everyone goes out and has a fantastic Thursday. And we'll chat tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. I'm Nancy, and welcome to Thursday. So I have got my caramel coffee. I am good to go. Let me have a sip or two. Oh, I just, I just really enjoy my cup of coffee, even though, you know, it's late at night. Uh, well, it's not really too late. What time is it? Oh, it's 1030. How does, where does the day go? I, you tell me, I have no idea where it goes. But, um, Anyway, um, I am just happy to be here and chatting with you again, so I just want to say I appreciate you stopping in and chatting with me, and I'm, I'm trying my best to keep these, these little vlog days short, but I really like lollipops at doing this, and, you know, I used to say that instead of, you know, the S word with the kids around, you know, I think you get what I mean, but, um, yeah, so I, I have a lot to learn figuring out how to condense what I want to say. But um, anyway, so I filmed my Wannable Active Eric. I, I, I cannot say that. I filmed my Wannable Clearance Active Edit last night. Uh, so anyway, I was pleasantly surprised um, because you don't, you know, with the active wear, I didn't really know what to expect because sometimes, you know, the exercise wear can be like, you know, these little tiny things, you know, that you'd be like, Ooh, ooh, ma, don't look at me, you know? But anyway, I was really pleasantly surprised, and I had a new stylist for the active edit. I think she did a fantastic job, so I was really pleasantly surprised. I'm thinking of keeping all seven, and I'm hoping to get that uploaded um, tonight, um, edited and uploaded before I go to bed tonight. And again, if you keep, with the, the clearance, if you keep all seven items, you get 70% 70, 70 off, and then you also get a $25 credit to use on your next regular Wannable, right? Um, the last one I got, I only kept three pieces, but I still got 50% off. So that was still really cool. So I would definitely do it again. Um, if you ever get an email, it's definitely, I think, worth taking a shot at it. I mean, even if, even if you buy one item, it's 40% off plus, you know, your $20 styling fee. So anyway, that's pretty good. So anyway... Can you believe it's October 1st already? So anyway, the um, every month, the first of the month, Sensi has a warmer of the month uh, special. And I don't always buy one because, you know, I've got a lot of them. But some of them, some of them I just have to. So I've been, been dying for the first so that I could order this one. So it did go online to be available to get today. So that's kind of like a picture of what it looks like. So it looks like a, like a brass lantern and, um, there's some fairy lights. Looks like there's fairy lights in there, and that would be what it looks like in the dark. But anyway, I got mine ordered. So I think normally it's going to be $65, and for the month of October, it's $58.50. So I did get that ordered, so I can't wait to open that and share it with you when it comes in. And then I, I just want to talk about my ride home from work tonight. And, um, you know, as I'm coming home, I'm just looking at the scenery around me, and of course I'm, you know, on the highway, but, um, you know, just the leaves, um, some of them, of course, are gone because of the windstorm we had, but some of the others are that bright red, and we got the oranges and the yellows, and some of them haven't turned yet, so they're still green, and, you know, it just um, re reminded me of three, four years ago, and I think, um, you know, it was when uh, Rick was still recovering after he lost his second leg, 
And, um, you know, we were both kind of feeling, you know, a little down that it was such a nice day. And, you know, we couldn't quite go riding or anything yet. And, um, you know, because we used to love, you know, when we lived in New England, you know, we'd always go up to New Hampshire and do like the, the lake region in New Hampshire or the White Mountains, Franconia Notch, you know, along the Pemigewasset River some years, sometimes Lake Winnipesaukee or the Saco River. And it was just so, so beautiful. And then we moved to Minnesota. And of course, it, you know, you just kind of grow up thinking your area, wherever you grow up, is like the best it is. But um, anyway, there are some really pretty places out here too in the fall. And we used to love to just go on nice, quiet rides on the bike. So I think we were both kind of feeling down that, you know, those days for us were pretty much over. And so anyway, he was taking a nap. And I just went out in the backyard. And I was just kind of sitting and I was looking around and it's like, wow, it's really pretty out here. And it's like sometimes you never stop to notice the beauty in your own backyard. So anyway, I went in and I got my camera. And, um, you know, I just kind of went around the perimeter and just took, um, you know, a movie of all the trees that were in the back of the yard with all the colors that were showing. And when I came, when he woke up later, I um, plugged my camera into the TV and we just kind of watched it on the TV. And I, we just kind of both looked at each other like, how did we never notice the beauty that was in our own backyard before? So that's kind of like... My message for today is to just, uh, you know, it's nice to look back and appreciate and admire and just be thankful for the times that you had or places you've been. And for whatever reason this year, maybe it's your year that you can't get out and do the things that you normally do in the fall. But just trying to take a moment and, and look in your own backyard or just a, a quick ride around your neighborhood or whatever. And the beauty's there. Um, sometimes we just don't always notice it. But anyway, um, anyway, that's my message today. Just uh, take a moment, take a minute, just kind of stop, look around, and appreciate wherever you are in life. Be thankful for everything that you have, and I hope everybody is doing well. And we will chat again tomorrow. Have a good day, everybody. Bye bye. And welcome to Friday. Cheers, everyone. We made it through another long work week. Sometimes the weeks just seem to feel very long, don't they? But anyway, it's going to go down to about 36 tonight, so I am nice and cozy warm. I wore this top that I got from uh, my Ronable. Oh my god, it's like wearing a blanket. It is so, so soft. I wore this with my um, Women With Control, the uh, black suede leggings again, um, and I had some booties on it. I was nice and toasty warm, but right now, I've got my jammy bottoms on and my mock locks loving these. So anyway, I got my Gloria Jeans coffee and my Keurig that's in the French vanilla, the International Delight, the, um, I forgot what it's called again, but it's sweet cream, Cold Stone Creamery sweet cream. Just so good. Love this. And I, I heat it up in my frother so that it doesn't cool down my coffee at all so I can enjoy my hot coffee a little bit longer. Ah, I'm going to have a couple of sips right now. Mmm. So I hope everybody had a fantastic day. Um, anyway, Fridays are just are getting to be my favorite days, just not because it's Friday, but because so many of the companies that we work with are only working four day weeks because they do that extra cleaning on the uh, fifth day. Or a lot of people take Friday off because in Minnesota, if you ask somebody where they're going for this weekend, you know what they all say? Up north. Where are you going, for the, where are you going this weekend? up north yeah so anyway so friday ends up being the beginning of the day it's like you as soon as you come in that phone is ringing you got emails coming out of your ears and um, usually by 12 o'clock it's everybody's on their way so you get to kind of finish up paperwork and just catch up on some things so i love fridays for that reason but anyway so anyway today i wanted to do something different and I've been listening to these commercials on um, this podcast called Paper Ghosts. That sounded really good. Um, it's about some unsolved mysteries of um, some missing children back in the 1970s in Connecticut. And um, so anyway, I've just really piqued my interest. So I asked my Alexa on my desk to uh, play that on iHeartRadio. And oh my God, I loved it. So it was all... I'm not sure. So anyway, it was only like six episodes. 
So um, once I finished them, um, then I, you know, called out to Jen. I said, oh, Jen, she, she works up at the front desk. And um, so I was saying, oh, I just listened to this podcast. It was so good. It's my first podcast. And I said, do you have a, do you have a hit? Watch, listen to any podcast? And she's like, yeah, Nancy, everyone listens to podcasts. I've been doing it for years. And it's like, they've been out that long. They didn't just start. And it's like, I don't know where I was, but I guess podcasts are really quite popular. So anyway, she wrote down a few of her favorites for me. And she even put some asterisks next to the ones that she likes. And she says she knows a ton more. She's been watching them for a long, or listening to them for a long time. Because she's got, I got like a 10 minute ride to work. She's got probably about 45 minutes every day. So she listens to them here and there. So anyway, I'm looking forward to listening to some more of those. Especially on Fridays where it's, it's getting to be such a dead day after 12 o'clock and and I can still pedal I can still work and I can can listen to him then yes it was good so after I finished that one um, she told me another one that was good I forgot what the name of it was so. Alexa what's the name of the podcast I was listening to earlier today sure I found ologies with Allie Ward this podcast is a pocket full of science knowledge and charming bizarre stories about what fuels these professional ologists obsession Alexa stop I do you know what podcast I was listening today to today Alexa what podcast did I listen to today sure I found planet money this podcast an NPR series of fun and short narratives Alexa stop Alexa, earlier today you played a podcast for me. What was it? Hmm, I don't know that one. I don't know what I'm going to do with her. But anyway, it was vanished or unknown and vanished. Something about vanished. Or maybe unknown, but anyway, it was about another crime scene mystery. And this one looked like it was going to have quite a few episodes. And, um,. I was listening to one about a lady named Tara that went missing in Georgia. So I think I was on about the fourth um, episode in the series. And that just seemed like that's going to be a good one too. And it's about going back and re-looking at evidence and the cold cases from, you know, years ago. They didn't have the evidence and things that they could do today, like track people on their cell phones and GPS and things like that. So it's it's really kind of interesting. Even if she doesn't help me. So I mean, you know what she did last night? So yesterday at work, um, I was talking to uh, one of my bosses where work, he's working on another deal and I helped him get some paperwork together. So he, it's another big machine. This machine is like a million dollar machine. So um, he was going to close the deal. And uh, so we were talking about how big the machine is because the last machine, they didn't quite measure it right. And it went right to the loading dock door. So they had to make another floor because if you went to the other side of the machine, you would fall out of the building. So anyway, this one is like 24 feet long. So we were talking about that and then she just started going off and talking and I wasn't paying attention to her because Alexa's crazy. But anyway, so um, last night about two o'clock, my phone starts pinging at me. That really drives me crazy. So anyway, I go to see what my phone is pinging about. It's Alexa. She's reminded me to order a 24 foot machine on my shopping list. Does your Alexa do crazy things like that, or is it just mine? And they're kind of in cahoots because it's like, it's on my phone, it's the one in the bedroom, it's the one here in the living room, it's the one on my desk at work, and they, they all chat and they all lie to me. Yeah. But anyway, take a deep breath. <sighs> Let it go. Okay, I'm good again. But anyway, I want to thank everyone for joining me this week. I'm going to try to get this together. And i uh, get this uh, probably posted tomorrow. Let's see if um, YouTube doesn't come back and tell me I have another copyright infringement. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. But anyway, uh, I hope everyone goes out and has a fantastic day tomorrow. And just, um, I hope if you get to spend some time with your family or your friends or your puppies or kitty cats, whatever, it's all good. Um, if you get a chance and to just kind of go out, maybe drive around, look at the beauty around you. If you're in a place that has the fall foliage or just, um, 
yeah, just enjoy who you're with, enjoy where you are in life. Have a nice cup of coffee or, you know, I miss infused water too, or a nice glass of wine. Just um, relax and chill, and we will chat again next week. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.